Get prepared. Get approved. Flight Check 2022. You're here because you want to get started quickly with Flight Check. In this video, we're going to go very quickly over the basics of getting started with Flight Check. We have a more in depth video on how to get started on Flight Check. I'll put a link below. And we have many more in depth tutorials on every section in Flight Check. Let's get started. The heart of Flight Check are the ground controls. There are presets already there for you to get started very quickly. Many will just use those. However, the more experienced pre flighters and certainly the pre press experts out there will customize the ground controls and save different sets for their workflow or workflows. You'll also be able to share these with other people in your workflow or other colleagues. Very handy. Pre flighting a page layout, and we support many different file formats Adobe InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop, Quark Express, and even PDF files of any sort like Canva PDFs or PDF from Word or Corel Draw. It's very easy to pre-flight. You just drag and drop your files, even multiple files, on the flight check. There you get the next feature, which we cover in detail in many other videos, is the preview. Look at that. Something that's been asked for for years from pre-flighters. The ability to check a Quark file or an InDesign file or a PDF file or an Illustrator file and get a preview so you can see where the problems are. In the new flight check, there's various pre-flight modes. Two main ones. You'll find them in the upper left-hand corner. There you can switch between the two pre-flight modes, inventory, how it starts standard, and the pre-flight results mode form. You'll have to decide what works best for you. I kind of use both. Now to actually understand pre-flighting more in more detail, we have a complete other video on that. Like I said, we have a longer nine minute video on how to get started with flight check. You might want to start with, but to learn more about pre-flighting itself, check out this video. It goes over all the basics about what to check for and why you're checking for it. The pre-flight reports are very handy to share information with other people in the workflow. But a new feature I really love in Flight Check, it's actually a combination of the preview, finding the problem, and it navigates in the preview window to show you where the problem actually is. But now you can actually also edit, for instance, this InDesign file and edit the problem in InDesign. But not only does it open the file in InDesign for you, it actually takes you right to the exact page and selects the exact problem where the problem is. Absolutely amazing. Same thing with PDF files. We can pinpoint a problem and allow you to edit in Acrobat. So now you can actually edit your PDFs in even pit stop right through flight check. Now that is powerful and very handy. The package feature is one of the most popular features in flight check for years. It'll gather all your fonts and images together and include them in a separate folder, even compressing it. It's a flight check approved folder or not and very handy for archiving, but also for delivery to the printer or publisher or the next person in the workflow. Part of the package feature includes a new IDML creation option. Flightcheck comes standard with ID marks. It'll create an IDML file for InDesign files. And optionally, if you have one of our other marks line products like PDF marks or uh, QXP marks, you can create IDML from PDF files and Quark files respectively, even Illustrator files. And that's how easy it is to get started with Flightcheck. Check out our support page if you have any questions, please report them to us, or if you have any requests, or if you find any errors, of course. All right, once again, check the links below for more detailed information, more tutorials on Marks vs. Flight Check. Welcome to Flight Check 2022. Get prepared, get approved, Flight Check.